I get that people like Robin D'Angelo and Ta-Nehisi Coates are the high priests and priestesses. Ibram X. Kendi is the one I mentioned, sorry, but yes, Ta-Nehisi Kendi. Coates sorry, is yeah. also yeah. one. Um, yeah. I get that, but I, I think the, the weird thing about this is, and this is one of the only ways that in, in which it's not a cult, is I don't... The high priests and priestesses are not infallible like the Pope. Like, they can be dethroned Correct. very oh, easily. Oh, totally. Yes. And uh, so what that means is... So actually what it is is there's a... Uh, if everyone's ideologically aligned, you don't... So, okay, people confuse ideological alignment with uh, conspiracy theories and and top-down orders as if like yeah. oh there must be like marching orders marching orders right. are necessary if you don't have uh a lot of ideological alignment and you just kind of have to tell people you do this you do that blah 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 this is how you should react but if you're all ideologically aligned because you've been programmed through decades of public education and then college uh then you're all as scott adams would say you're all watching the same movie you're all also kind of acting in the same play. And so when a thing happens, you all intuitively know what the next move is because it yeah. just feels like the right next move. You don't need like a, a puppet master. No, you know, there's saying, no one person. The, the high priests and priestesses are just people who happen to have at this moment have a lot of fame and cultural power in pushing the belief system, but they can change it. And they do often change because that you can never be pure enough. It is a fundamentalist cult. So they will come after the people at the top for any sign of impurity. And, you know, we've said this before, but it must be really awful being Robin DeAngelo and sleeping with one eye open. Like, when are they going to come get me? <laughs> They're going to find that tweet from yeah. 20 years ago. You know, yeah. you can never be pure enough and they do change. Plus the other thing, to notice is that if, if you're in a place where this ideology has converged and has infected and is starting to grow, whether it's your church or your company or your or school or a hobby group, there are these gatekeepers or these high priests and priestesses these in your small echo chambers, your small ecosystems as well. So for example, I'm in, I'm in an SJW Facebook group for my town, my little town. And there is a high, pri there's a couple of high priests in that group or priestesses. There's a couple of women in that group who everyone, it's, it's the people that everyone looks to for, for the final word on the, on how to, what, what to say and what to believe. So for example, whenever they have questions like, like there are well-meaning white women in that group, a lot of people get pulled into this or well-intentioned white women for some reason. Um, there are a lot of well-women, well-intentioned white women in that group who will some times post videos or articles by black people who do not believe in social justice ideology. And they'll ask in good faith, I don't understand this. Why is this black person not speaking the ideology? But I'm willing to shut up and listen, which is what they've been told to do. Shut up and listen to people of color. And then they wait. And then the high priestesses of the, in my little group will come in, some of them white, some of them black, and they'll proceed to rip that black conservative apart or the black liberal apart or whoever, whoever it is that doesn't agree with social justice ideology, they'll rip them apart and then they'll explain, they'll do the mental gymnastics required, to try and make it make sense that you don't have to listen to that black person, or these black people. They, they're the ones that people look to, to explain the doctrine and to explain the many hypocrisies and the many contradictions in the doctrine. So in your little company, you, there's someone you can probably think of off the top of your head right now who's the person people look to, who's the most, the wokest of the woke, right? Who's that in your group? You can name them. I mean, yep. don't, I mean, don't, you don't need to name them, but in your head, you know who those people are. Yep.